Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Imrik. And I've been thinking about how to deal with these orcs that are moving into our capital province because they can reach both the Bone Gulch and Ash Ridge Mountains. So they're probably just gonna attack the one where we don't put our army. So here's the plan. We're gonna get a couple of regiments of renown and I think I'm just gonna get the Arcane Phoenix and the Spearman because the Fireborn and the Dragon, they belong to Imrik. So we're just gonna grab those two and we're gonna put this guy right over here-ish, should be fine. Because this way, they can't reach Bone Gulch, and if they go and take Ash Ridge, that's gonna have to be fine, but at least if they do, we can reach them next turn, and we can just kill them then. And I guess we can just, uh, camp? It's gotta be fine. And, uh, we'll see what they do. They might just attack us, which would also be fine, because then they'll probably, even if we don't win, they're probably just gonna take enough damage to not be able to take any of our settlements. So, that's gonna be a win-win. Lorelei is gonna start moving on, well, she's gonna keep moving on Karakadrin, and she can stay in the magic stance because it doesn't seem like she's gonna take any attrition. And I kind of think that you should stay within our borders for like one more turn, probably grab a little bit of recruitment. Oh, we are. <laughs> We're in the red now. How fun. And we're losing 81 to raiding. I was thinking why we lost 81 and the rest is just 20,000. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, these guys are gonna come in as reinforcements. So, I guess just get a couple of heavy arrowheads. That's gonna be fine. And I think Imrik needs to move too. Yeah. And... Uh, I kind of want to just take this loop. This uh, could be good to take, but uh, we're getting some... Okay, never mind, we don't have any garrison in here. Let's uh, build a garrison and... Uh, hmm, obsidian. Couldn't be, wouldn't be bad. But I think we're just gonna grab garrison and we're gonna start moving to Eagle Eries. But... We're gonna stay in our border. Oh, hello! I found their armies! Excellent! So we're just gonna cab here because we're gonna reach it either way. But this way we're gonna get our replenishment and we can sit close to Zarnagrund just in case we need some uh, some help there. And you've already moved. Oh, right, we got this one too. So I guess you can go and help as well, but you <laughs> are definitely not gonna recruit any more stuff because we're pretty big in the red, but that's all right. We also got some leveling on one character who just finish Flock of Doom. It's gonna be good. And we don't really have any more money, so we're just gonna pass the turn and see what happens. Oh, um, some ogres just <laughs> suicide themselves into the Sentinels. That's fine. Hey, free money. Oh, they did actually attack us instead of the settlement. That is perfect for me, because... Uh, I mean, we might not win this, although we probably should, but if we don't win, they're going to be so tattered, they're not going to be able to take out any of our settlements, so this is going to be fine. But we are going to try to win this at least. So I do think we have a pretty good chance there, even though the auto resolve and balance of power is slightly against us, but that's going to be fine. Most of their army is cab, so we're going to use our spears to just build a little bit of a box. And we're going to use the cliffs here to cover our right flank, right there. And leave a little bit of a gap, because they're not going to be able to get through there. You are going to be like right there. You'll get to fight downhill, which is perfect. And you're going to cover our rear a little bit. Now, it is going to be a little bit open back here, but they're going to have to go pretty far to get there. So... I'm sh pretty sure we'll be fine. You're just gonna be a line there. Oh, you should be group two though. And you're gonna be a line there. And you are just gonna back up the front line. Hopefully you'll be able to shoot most of your stuff and then you'll go in and help. You're gonna go and hang out right there. You can be group four and you can be group three. And uh, we'll put you there and see if we can get a little bit of an ambush. I'm guessing a lot is going to go through here though, so maybe that's not going to work, but we'll see. The lions are pretty fast, so we can just move them around if need be. And ooh, are you going to you gonna bunch up real good? Nah, you're just going to stay like that. Boo. Well, we're going to go and see if we can get an uh, ember storm on something. 
I mean, those are the big guns. Maybe catching them wouldn't be bad in an ember store. Actually, that's going to be terrible. <laughs> ah, whatever. It's fine. We're going to we're going to go around and harass with with the Phoenix for a bit. It's going to be fine. Maybe we can even keep some stuff back while the rest of them are just advancing like so. And uh, we are well, we are distracting their artillery and their archers. What what are you doing? Do what I say. <laughs> Stop it. There we go. Okay. I think no, they're not even close. I thought they would be onto us by now, but yeah, we're just gonna stop their artillery from shooting a little bit. These guys are pretty safe, although they really don't want to fight uh, Savage Orc bo uh, Boar Biggins. So yeah, there's no way we can sneak through there, so let's just uh, send them out back. That's gonna be fine. Oh, wait! Did they take like a shit ton of damage by... Uh, by the Ember Storm, after all, because that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of damage, and they were weren't they full health when I started it? I think so. So that's fine. These guys are being shot. We got lions in the back. They're gonna just sweep for us. Hopefully, these guys goes into spears, and uh, yeah, this is fine. We kind of shut down their artillery as well. So so far, they're still not manning them properly. And uh, they still got a lot of stuff back there. Yeah, so this kind of worked out perfectly. Excellent. You can go in and fight with that. And these guys are just hanging out. So go and help out with that. You'll be fine. You're going to be absolutely fine. And yeah, this is, this is working out. Ooh, that is a very good Ember Storm. Stay there. No, stay there. Come on. Okay. Let's uh, pop it right there. And then we just stay and fight these guys. Yeah, there we go. That is gonna be fine. These guys are just waiting. See if they <laughs> if they can just dare to attack. But no, they're just sitting there. Taunting my spares. But they're also dying in the droves to our archers. And ooh, we got some savage orcs in there. Let's just uh, saturate in, help out a little bit. You guys are shooting just fine, but let's uh, turn you just so we can help on this side because that's that's where most of the stuff is right now. Uh, these guys aren't exactly threatening us. Oh, can you get out of there, please? You're not doing too hot. Although, we still got the... Not Omen of Hope. Fiery Rebirth. So, that's gonna be fine. At least... They, uh, or it, distracted those guys for long enough. Uh, keep fighting there. Yeah, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna be fine. And yeah, let's uh, go and help out over here, I guess. Because these guys are gonna take a while to get here. And yeah, we are gonna be 100% fine. Okay, um, stop them from going around. I don't want them in our archers. But... Uh, you two, you can start turning and shooting in there. That's gonna be good. Send these two lions over there. You can go and kill the the uh, infantry units. We do have a couple of uh, savage orcs in there, but that is fine. Or boar boys in there, but that's fine. Uh, you can probably shoot in there. Those guys aren't coming back, so... I guess uh, these guys can start moving up a little bit. So the lions can chase that off. You can go and fight that. And the lions should be pretty good on these. Let's have them chomp on these guys. Wait, are you trying to just push through or are you fighting something here? Just... There we go. Stay and fight. There we go. Good kitty. Good kitties. So they're gonna munch on those. Just fine. That's going fine. And uh, these guys are trying to get away. But send in the lions on that as well. 
But I think these are the last... Or the last guy left. Oh, also the rock lover. So I guess send one over there as well. So yeah, let's, let's just break these. And I think that's going to be game now. Yeah, that's breaking, that's breaking, and that's breaking. Excellent. Yeah, so we were absolutely fine. And uh, I was more worried than I should have. But that's fine. I guess the, the AI kind of helped out with that a little bit because they didn't exactly play their A game considering they just left a bunch of uh, Seven Shorts big guns in Archer Fire and did nothing with them. And I didn't even notice they <laughs> had uh, pump wagons. So I guess they died to archers real fast, but we're just gonna take some money and move on. And Flagog died, very good. And uh, Oh, hello. Blitzit coming in with a bunch of uh, what looks like Skaven Slaves, but there's also some Storm Vermin, so we are gonna have to go and uh, respond to that. Okay, they can't get to Crookback Mountain the uh, next turn, so we can go and cover that. Yeah, okay. So, let's march over there. I would like to take care of him, but he can't take any of these garrisons now. And Ashridge Mountain is recovering, so it, this is all fine. This is fine. Don't think we need to upgrade that just yet. We need to take care of that stupid, <laughs> stupid raiding camp. So that's not allowed to sit there. And now you are just going to go up in the mountains, actually. So let's go and sit you right there on the border. You're going to get a little bit of replenishment. And uh, yeah, you're just going to go and rampage in the mountains. And uh, Xiao Ming. No, wait. Which one is it? Yeah, Xiao Ming. I never remember who's who, but... I did there, <laughs> but he's doing fine here, and he's pushing into the mountains just great. Lorelei, you are gonna go and start sieging Karakadrin, although we are gonna switch you over to normal stance. We are gonna start building some of these. Actually, can we just get towers? Yeah, just get two towers. We are gonna probably siege this a turn. And you are going to go and march over there so you can reinforce. But I don't want him to be in march stance when we fight. So we're going to just wait a turn. Or, I mean, if they want to come out and fight, that would be swell. <laughs> but we are still losing quite a bit of money. But can we afford to grab any of these? I would love the Fireborn or the Im or Imrath since... I mean, <laughs> it is kind of the whole the whole deal with this campaign. And I don't want to get rid of any of the eagles. So I think we're getting rid of normal archers if we're getting rid of anything. And I do want the last dragon. Because, I mean, come on. Why wouldn't I? So let's... They got a full... <laughs> that is just goblins. But they do have a lot of other stuff. Dragon shall but we're gonna attack this guy. Bring them death. And yeah, that's just a horde of low tier units, so I'm gonna just grab that or other assault. And just money. That was way less money than I thought we were gonna get, but that's alright. We're gonna loot that. Well, not loot it. We're gonna occupy that, and we are gonna get some uh, resources. There we go. Imrik can get more hard to hit. He's such a beast. He's almost at a thousand weapon strength. He's just insanely strong. Oh! I never never got the second pip on Dragonheart or Ancient Pride. Or... Were these always two? <laughs> I feel like I thought that these were uh, just one pip, but... I don't know what I thought. I know these are two. So, I guess I just wanted one of each and get to Ashen Fields and then I just forgot about it, but that's fine. Great. We're getting it now. Uh, you are... Did you finish? No, finish Flamestorm. It's good in sieges and stuff. You can have Bowmaster. And you can have Root Marcher. 
There we go. We don't really have any money to recruit any of the stuff because I spent it on... Uh... Ooh, you can actually go a little bit closer, see if we can uncover some more of this army. I just want to see what they got. Okay, seems like it's most just Skaven Slaves maybe. And we'll hang out close by. Oh, actually, an ambush here would have been... Actually, they might attack us anyway. Now that I think about it, because we're in Mars stance and uh, it's not like we have the strongest army, so maybe they'll attack. I welcome it. That would make everything a lot easier, I think. Okay, so no one attacked for some reason. I kind of wanted them to, but... Oh, we can actually... We can reach them there. This guy is back. And... He didn't march. But they seem to think they can still take us on. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you are gonna march over to Crookback Mountain. Just defend that. And uh, let's go and take care of these guys again. They are staying and fighting. And I guess we are gonna fight this again. But we're gonna try to do this real quick. Because we have other things to fight. And we can't take medium casualties. But I feel like this is my own fault, because I should have chased last time, but eh, whatever. Let's uh, put up a cage again. Seems to have worked fine last time. And yeah, let's, let's just do like that. Should probably have these guys here, though. Like so. Because they're better. <laughs> but put you there and put you there. Like so, you're group one, you're gonna be group one there as well. And put these guys up like there. Actually, we can probably... Nah. Put them up like that. That is fine. And move up a little bit. There we go. So, I think we are gonna put these lions in just ambush again. See if they can get some picks. But other than that, we should be alright. Let's see if we can get some better Ember Storms this time. But, I mean... These guys are gonna be slowed down in here, so... Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ah, they, they know what's up. Let's see if we can go and hit the... The Archer instead. Just... Oh, we get to hit the artillery as well. That's kind of nice. Just have them not shooting, which is pretty good. And I think we're going to have to withdraw you because I don't want them to fight big guns unsupported because they do quite a bit of anti-large. And yeah, these guys, these guys are dead. You guys are going to do that. Just get that reload skill up and going. Stay and fight some boar boys and uh, oh they are they're not going around so well these guys are but we can kill them with three units of uh, lions yeah probably because the front line is just doing fine so let's run around and smack these guys in the rear you are not coming back I don't think so send you in over there And yeah, you're you're doing fine. So surprise lions, bitches! So they're just gonna nibble on these guys from the side while they're being peppered with arrows, probably. And they're probably gonna be able to do some pretty good damage. Let's send you in to help because you're actually really good against against these guys. I think. <laughs> I feel like you should be pretty good against those. But yeah, they're. They're already mostly dead, so... Quick fight! And stop shooting these guys. Shoot those guys. Just make sure they don't come back. And we are gonna chase. So this time, they're not coming back the next turn. Oh, and we got the other Trickster Shard. I don't know if we have the Trickster Shard, but... I guess we can have a look. And we're gonna grab some money there. So, they are running away, but... I mean, they're not coming back this time. 
but I do want to see if we have the normal trickster shard. Because I think they have some kind of set item or something. They should, at the very least. I don't think I've had both. So, the trickster shard... No. Because it's one of these, right? Or one of these. Either way, we don't have it. And I uh, don't think it's that good either way. So, you can hold on to that. Don't really care. And I guess you get some levels too. So let's get Iron Disciplinarian because you're gonna sit at home. Just like that. And uh, yeah, okay, you can't reach, but you're gonna defend the Crookback Mountain anyway. Is this. Uh, this is the same turn. No? This is not the same turn. So let's go and sit right there. We are probably gonna have to stop taxing that. Oh, shit. That is a lot of red. But that's. Fine. But it is also time for the Siege of Karakadrin. And this is gonna be a pretty hefty fight. So yeah, let's let's go and get him. So I'm a little bit disappointed with the map, honestly. Not that this is a terrible map or anything, it's just is this what you think when you think of Karakadrin? But whatever. Um, I think this is a fine play. Oh, actually, this. Nah, I like this courtyard. It gives us a little bit of room to fight and also some place to shoot. So we're just gonna plop our stuff up on the wall. That's gonna be fine. We got a lot of archers that's gonna go behind and just start shooting. Should probably start grouping these things. Like so. You are in the dragon group, you are in the eagle group, and you are in the lion group. And just center everything here, that's gonna be fine. There we go. We are gonna send you in on the gatehouse. You guys are gonna just go like that, I guess. I should probably put them further to this side, but ah, eh, whatever. Well, will be fine. And uh, I guess we are gonna send some eagles and dragons right on top of these iron drakes. Or, yeah, iron drakes with troll having torpedoes and just iron drakes in general because they're scary as hell. Just look at the damage they did to this guy. Holy crap. Uh, get you on top of the normal iron drakes. Yes, we need to, we need to burn eight these guys. But speaking of burning nation, we have a lot of dragons to breathe with. So let's breathe with you right there. We're gonna go and. Ooh, those are iron breakers. Let's pop those guys. Oh, this. Is... That's a good breath. That was a less good breath. Ooh, that. There's a good. That can be a good one. Yeah, that's a pretty good breath. Uh, you should probably try and get out of there. And yeah. Let's, uh, let's land all of you in there. Get the blob going. There's going to be a lot of slayers coming in, but that's going to have to be fine. Oh, right. Archers. I forgot the archers. <laughs> that's, that's not a good thing to forget. But... Here comes the boys, so let's pop a chain lightning right there. That's gonna <laughs> that's gonna do some damage to these guys coming in. Oh shit! Uh, I need to get over there. We're also gonna just pop that right there. We're gonna pop that right there. There's gonna be some good stuff, and yeah, he's he's leaving. That's all right. There's nothing we can do about that. But you need to start shooting. There we go. We got some dragon abilities to do as well. Pop that. We can get another one. Another one of these. Although maybe we don't need to. This is open. Is it? No, it is absolutely not open. 
But I guess... Uh, no? Okay. They're hesitating. Because these guys came in. Um, I guess uh, all the range stuff, just go and sit there and shoot. We're gonna go and hang out there. You're gonna come in there and you're gonna just come in there. There we go. We got more stuff happening right there. And... Uh, Okay, let's uh, bombard these guys with that. That's gonna be fine. Yeah, that's good. And just destroy the damn gate already. So, you can go in there, you can go in there. We can send a couple of archers up on these. Because my plan was kind of having archers sitting on the walls just shooting in. Let's start popping some hounds right there. Oh, and you're also lifting up, so let's get some breaths on these long beards. There we go. Beautiful. That means we probably have some breaths with these guys too. So. If you wanna just uh, maybe breathe on those dwarf warriors, that uh, would be super. Very nice. Are we through yet? No? <laughs> Almost. And you also got a thing, so go breathe on those, why don't you? you? Got a couple of eagles as well, but they have taken so much damage, so we're just gonna chill with them there. We get archers coming up on the wall, so they're gonna start just doing their thing. And let's pop a chain lightning on you. Let's grab these two, go and land on you. And uh, I did see a tower. We should probably deal with that tower as well. But they got a lot of shit right there. Oh, there's Ungrim and some Thanes. Oh, and these guys are in. Let's um, send you in on these long bears, actually. Yes. These guys are just gonna focus fire Ungrim. You guys can probably just shoot those, those gyrocopters. Gonna go and hang out right there. Eagles, go and deal with that, please. You should be alright at that. Got long bears fighting kitties, but they aren't doing. They're not really getting through there, so that's all right. Let's have these guys keep shooting on Grim. They should be doing some pretty decent damage if he were to stand still and not hit our archers or our spearmen instead. So I guess there he is. They're trying, and that's all I can ask. So, you're not supposed to be in there though. Oh, and that's a long line. So, let's go and land you on cannons that I didn't even re realize I had there. And, uh, hey, my voice cracked. <laughs> let's send you into some grudge throwers as well. Didn't realize they had artillery hang, uh, hang around. Oh, and there's also iron drakes there. That's alright. Um, let's uh, send you in there and send... Oh, you can go in there around. How's our lions doing? Well, they're trying. So, good on them. Just kind of need to break these, though. But that seems harder than it needs to be. Okay, never mind. Dragon, dragon dudes, come over here. This is where the fighting is happening. Let's... Uh, Oh, actually, let's uh, just move you over there. Let's move over. You should probably go and stand like that, so you're actually shooting. Move you a little bit closer. And the dragon gang is coming over. Just need to kill these guys, it seems. Does the rest... Uh, oh, they have a cannon over there. The rest seems uh, pretty dead, on honestly. So, go and deal with that. And Lorelai is coming over. She's got a breath attack. Let's uh, put that on. Ooh, 
Okay, get out of there. <laughs> but let's kill these long bears right there. Gorgeous. And it's not the biggest of deal if uh, if the prince happens to die. Oh, crap. Okay, they got shit on the walls. So let's uh, send you in there. We're also gonna transmutation of lead right there. We are gonna... We're also gonna... Come on. There we go. We're gonna Plague of Rust him. And we're just gonna make sure he has no stats going in there. And just send in everyone. There we go. Those guys are gone. And yeah, I think that's everything except for Slayers, I suppose. Which means Ungrim. So we're just gonna circle beat Ungrim in this little corner here. I uh, can't really see what's happening. Yeah, there, we can't get an angle. Oh, actually, I see him. <laughs> he just smashed up to the against the wall here. And he's... He should still be affected by a lot of stuff. Yeah, Plague of Rust and... Oh, Transmutation is already over. Really? I thought they lasted longer than that. But let's uh, keep casting spells. Yeah, the final transmutation should still be active here. There is some giant slayers here as well, but that doesn't matter. I think the rest is just... Uh, yeah, the rest is just running. So we're just gonna fast forward this until they're dead. Or until Ungrim solos our entire army. But I think one is more likely than the other. Although... It is taking quite a while. He is a hard guy to kill. There we go. Okay. And that should be the end of uh, Karakadrin. And I think we're just gonna loot and occupy for the money and replenishment. There we go. So, do they have anything less left? Um, yeah, Karakadrin destroyed. Excellent. So, he declared war on us uh, <laughs> about like 60 turns ago, but uh, he wouldn't peace out. So, here we are. Now they're dead. Too bad, so sad. But, let's start getting Speed of Asurion on you. We can grab some Valor of Ages on you. Lorelei, you deserve some Bowmaster. And... Uh, I guess uh, Foe Seeker is fine. So, I don't think we lost anything. We just took a lot of damage on a lot of things. Because dwarves are tough nuts to crack. But overall, it went pretty alright. Now we just need to... Be a little bit friendly with the... Oh my god! <laughs> that is a lot of negative from... Um, military actions against Karakadrin. But, I mean, it's, it was their own fault. What am I to do? Not kill them? No... So, um, I think what we can do is uh, try to mitigate this a little at least. And just improve, improve, improve. And uh, that will put us a little bit better at least. Let's uh, switch to the Golden Order. And improve, improve, improve. <laughs> So, now they're at least not as angry, and uh, military actions against Karakadrin is gonna go away, away eventually, at least. But, that's all of our influence, although we are making pretty good influence, and I think we have enough, enough lords to not worry about that. So, Karakadrin, we are gonna start getting some control over there. We should definitely get some... Uh, I mean, this is going to be exposed if any of these decide to fight us. So let's get one of those. But we can get rid of that. I don't think we need the Elven Forge. Although we don't have any bolt throwers. But that's mostly because I'm not the biggest fan of bolt throwers. I know they're kind of good, but eh. They just never felt great to me. I usually use them a little bit, but... I haven't really missed them that much in this campaign. 
But either way, we're gonna get a plaza and I guess we can keep that and I guess we can repair that. And uh, I suppose we should uh, not tax there too much for now. And I think you're gonna be the warden of these mountains and Lorelai is just gonna start moving east. Because we don't really have any enemies in the west. Unless this guy decides to be assholes. But let's... Uh, do we have any... No, no trade. Okay, it's mostly us the defenders and uh, I'm just gonna ignore them for now. But you need to go and take Valley of Horns, which should be alright. Yeah, that's a decisive victory. Excellent. Like, th this whole army is so good against the ogres. Like, the whole front line is spears and range and range. Got even got a dragon and stuff. So, this, this whole campaign in the mountains is going to be very easy. And they're trying to sneak by a little guy there, but he's not really a threat. So, did we... Yeah, we did move you and we did set you in our borders just to get some replenishment. But yeah, pop you pop you out, pop you in. There we go. That's going to be good. And I think we're going to pass and just uh, save a little bit of money, but we're in the green again. Hello. Join our war against... <laughs> you don't have to keep fighting Zufbar. I know I pulled you in when they attacked us, but... Uh, I mean, you don't have to fight him anymore. We peaced out. We're good. <laughs> okay, let's... Yeah, these guys are moving in on Crookback Mountain. So let's just uh, pop you in there. Make sure that you are... I could give you the Pyramid Company. And you're about to rebel. Huh. I mean, I guess that's fine. We could... We could sell you to the Empire and see if... Oh, the Black Pyramid happened. Okay, whatever. Um, probably not gonna engage too much in that. But, I mean, we're not gonna have that. And since... Uh, since it's gonna rebel... Where are we? There we are. Um, Kazid Ir... Wait, you can't... Oh, wait, no. This. <laughs> There's where they are. So, yeah, we can get an aggression pack with you. I think that's worth, because I don't really care about this. We're not going to fight Carl Franz over that. But getting a uh, non-aggression pack with him would be excellent. And we are improving quite a bit. So, just having a uh, non-aggression pack with him would that's be insane. really nice. Because that is... That is gonna put us to positive eventually. So we're fixing our relationship with Carl Franz. That is very nice. You're not as friendly, but we're gonna be fine. Yeah, we're all gonna be fine. So, Kemri, you want a non aggression pact and everything else. Yeah, I get it. You're, <laughs> you're probably not gonna have a good time against the Black Pyramid, but... I can't help you with that. <laughs> it's too far away. And, oh. You bastard. You're really gonna go around and doing this. But as long as they don't recruit anything, there's not really anything ca they can do. And I am a little bit worried about that. So we're just gonna march up north. Oh, they can get into Mount Silver Spare though. But that's alright. I mean, we don't have anything of value there oh and that's a garrison that is a weak ass garrison <laughs> huh okay well whatever it's at least gonna do a lot of damage to them even if they do take it and we're gonna be able to just go and take that back in no time that is a rebel army so we're just gonna stay stay clear of that and we can't really reach any of these. But I would like to take that just to be able to... Like, connect our lands a little bit in the mountains. And that's gonna be fine. So, let's go and sit in this stance. And we are gonna probably keep that stance on and get some extra experience for our caster. You can go and take Gorgia Rock. 
That's a nice garrison you got there. Too bad Imri came in. Because, <laughs> I mean, there's so few actual armies right now that can even like stand up even remotely to Imrik. He is so ridiculously strong. And we're just gonna sweep down here and take Saber Mountain now. Because I would like to take their capital. We do have a Coal Lake over here. And we've been at war with him for a while now as well. So we'll see if that ever happens. But you are gonna start marching back home. You're just gonna sit there for now. And that's fine. We got buildings built, but we're gonna save our money for now. And let's see what bliss it. What is that? Blistit. <laughs> Blistit. That is a stupid name. I tire of you already. Uh, sure. Alliance is. F oh, you are. <laughs> you are just about dead. Okay. Well, that's not great. I hope you. I hope you can bunker up in Wei Jin at least. But yeah, military alliance is fine. I should hurl you into the fire and Clan Ferric is declaring on us. But I think they're these guys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So they might actually come and fight us. But we should be fine. So let's have a look. Did they send anything? They did. So let's see what that is. We never did build a garrison here, but we got some strong stuff. And Imric is taking the lap around, so he can go and defend that once he's done with with Grimgor. But, oh, hello. So, now they're turning up over there as well. Oh my god, they got a lot of stuff coming. That is incredibly annoying. So I guess we are going to have to go and deal with that, but we're going to do that next episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.